Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Nickel 2009 and I thought I'd try my uh, hand on making those glass flowers that we saw at um, oh I forgot her name but I'll post it as I record this as I put it on YouTube so I wanted to show you my results after making a complete mess but and having one embossing heat tool blow up on me we're all good. I went out and got a new embossing heat tool and and all that. Anyways, so it's done using the melting pot and it's all cold now so it's all hard. So that was the first time I've ever used a melting pot. So very cool stuff. I just followed the steps and I watched her video a couple of times and and tried it but when I was doing it I did not have her tools. I was using some old tweezers that I got at a dollar store and uh, my little trusty poker and it made a goopy mess even when I used my Versamark so but it was okay because I just put it on the edge of the melting pot and let it cool and uh, one thing I did notice though is that you do definitely have to make sure that you drain them like I would put them on the side here and just let them sit for a bit and cool and then I was able to grab them and put them down and I don't have any of the non-stick pads or anything so I'm just using these old baking sheet pads that are all blackened and whatnot so I didn't spend a lot of extra money on tools for that um, but anyways I did get some really cool results that's one that's two that's three. They're so pretty. And that's four. I don't know if you can see them very well. And that's five. So what I used were these dollar store paper flowers. Right? That's this one here. See the color change? And then I used this one here. And then I used um, this one here, but I don't have any more of the pink to show you the color difference. And then um, I used this one here with just some red from my Cricut. I used a different flower cut. I'm just sampling different things to see how they work. But this one was my all-time favorite because I loved how the color came out. That was from the dollar store as well. So that's just some simple papers and I followed her instructions. I curled all the edges. I had everything ready. I um, I, I used um, Stampin' Up Glitter Dazzling Diamonds and as you can see it's pretty sparkly because I ended up having a little bump because my dog wanted to jump on my lap and Dazzling Diamonds went everywhere. But that's okay. I saved most of it. And I just used these little um, these little jewelry essential jewels and uh, I just got a multi-pack and I put them in the middle for the embellishment and man are these ever cool they are definitely very 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 glassy like glass flowers I cannot believe how how beautiful these turned out I don't know what to put in in the middle of these ones because they're quite large but they're so so pretty Anyways, thanks for posting that, and that's my shot at them, and I'm really, really happy with them. So I'll keep trying different flower cuts and different centers and whatnot, and, and hopefully you'll see them on my, on my um, future projects. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.